<laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and everything is alright. Jogger, and JC, let's go. Yeah, citywide news when I blow the ozone. I leave my mark, yeah, I'm logo loco. Got no style, I'm a polo dodo. These women want rings, but I don't know Frodo. Wake up, sit down, I ain't going to work. If I go get drowned, I'ma go in a hearse. If I don't get found, I'ma go in reverse. I could've sold this out while I was throwing the birds. So don't throw no shade when I park the Gaudi. See three white girls trying to spark the Bobby. I'll be rustling in the paint, boy, it's hard to stop me. Are you a remix or a carbon What's copy? What's up, guys? Like Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. Today, we're starting off with a leg day, okay? Now, in the last video, or the one before that, or potentially the one before that, I lose track now. Anyway, you guys saw me unbox or unpackage or receive in the mail these knee straps. So for the first time today, I'm going to be trying them on. So, I'm gonna stick it on like that. And like that. And we'll carry on. I can't move. <laughs> They're a bit like, a bit stiff. But, so, never done a set of leg press with these on, with, with straps on. I've had my little white ones, which are just meant for a little bit of injury rehab, aren't they? Really? They're not, yeah. they're not knee sleeves, not they're just really. like, no. strap it up for the night sort of thing. Nothing like it. So, we'll see how many thousand reps I can get now I've got these on. Can't wait to get massive. There is just a, a sense of security in there. Yeah. They give you more stability. <laughs> give me more stability! Put me off now. <laughs> I was focused before that. Yeah, I could tell. <sighs> How many reps is that? 15. Is it? No. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say. There must be at least 10. Yeah. Uh, oh. What do you yeah, reckon? I'll, I'll do. Oh God, oh yeah. Feel better? Yeah. Yeah, it's just when you when you're down when you're especially when you're at the bottom. It's just having the meat encased, you know? You need to double up on that glucosamine dose. Don't do that. Yeah. Citywide news when I blow the ozone, I leave my mark. Yeah, I'm logo loco. Got no style, I'm a polo dodo. These women want rings, but I don't know Frodo. Wake up, sit down, I ain't going to work. If I go get drowned, I'ma go in a hearse. If I don't get found, I'ma go in reverse. I could've sold this out while I was throwing the birds. I so don't throw no shade when I park the Gaudi. See three white girls trying to spark the Bobby. I'll be rustling in the paint, boy, it's hard to stop me. Are you a remix or a carbon copy? Like T-Town and we partying hard now. We used to use fakes, but we buying the bar now. 2020, I'll be up and flying the car down. My eyes roll back. What you trying to start now? What a frigging deadlift yesterday, people. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, you can say what you want about it being home gym, this and that, but... <sighs> pulled 501 quicker than I can frigging stand up. Like, if I sat down and stood back up again now, he'd have pulled 501 kilos off the floor quicker than that, which is just frigging ridiculous. But it is a new day today, people. We have... A my protein package which has arrived in the background so stay tuned for the winner which will be announced in the hall when i open that box right there stay tuned over the next couple of days people instagram will give you live updates on that it'll probably be tomorrow but i can't give you a 100 percent definition it might already be live i get that mixed up right now that i'm making that many videos that they just get all jumbled up into one in my head unless i actually write it down in my phone which it is written down but I can't think of it off the top of my head, so regardless. Today is gonna be a little bit of an upper body day. We're gonna get a solid upper body bump because it was a leg day yesterday, or lower yesterday. 
and it's going to be a good one. Drop the video a like if you have not already. Drop the previous video a like if you have not already. Drop the future videos likes. Let's start smashing 65, 70 likes on every single video. We need that, people. Every single time, we need to be smashing that out of the park, literally smashing it. It takes no time whatsoever. It costs you zero pennies, no pennies, but it can seriously, seriously help us out, like more than you think. Have you, have you done it yet? Yeah? I'm gonna stand here till you do it. If you haven't done it already, you're a terrible human being. I'm joking, I'm joking. Please stay subscribed, I love you all. the old um, bench press or whatever. Recently I uploaded a video titled Training Like Thor. Within said video, as in Thor Bjornsson who just hit 501. Within said video I overhead pressed or push pressed 100 for two ish. I would call it one and two third reps. <laughs> But that was after absolutely annihilating myself. There was deadlifts and stuff, but not just deadlifts, like reps for days on deadlifts. And I don't really like deadlifts, right? But I did it, I did it for the video, if I'm honest. Um, and it went well, it was really good, really actually quite a good session. However, at the end of it, I couldn't hit that two mark on the push press. Now, always in the back of my mind throughout that entire workout, I was thinking, I've got this, you know, I've got this. And then I started pushing on the 60, on the 70, on the 80. And I was like, fuck it, I, I can do this. So I decided to go for it. We didn't quite get it. But my plan over the next, probably over the next two weeks, I'll actually give this a go, is to start fresh, do a little bit of a warm up kind of tailored session towards push press, you know, a real jump, like what they would do in Strongman. I assume that's why it was on his plan, which I found online, right? But I haven't done it fresh, and I wanna do it fresh, because I know I can do it, and I know I can, can get it, potentially exceed my expectations. But I have to try it first to even know. But it's in here, I've already completed it in here, you know? And that's half the battle. gentlemen is the smile of success that you have just seen just there so it is the following day now 
I'm going to be potentially experimenting with these things over the next few days. Um, I've not really used them properly before in any way, shape or form. I've used wrist wraps every now and then. I've used straps about twice in my life. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like I might, might experiment with them. They're not going to help me with the push press, but... I'm gonna give it a go, you know? Just experiment with my cool new camo tings. I'm gonna to get to filming this My Protein unboxing. The giveaway winner will be announcing that. Also stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which will include the winner of the ab challenge. As well as the winner, we will have the challenge for the next week. So some sick entries today. I'm about to do one final judgment right now. I'm gonna film this My Protein thing, film the ab video thing, and carry on with this one all at the same time and just juggle it all, you know? But this overhead press, right? I'm excited purely because when I hit it before Christmas, I was very much intentionally trying to stay as still as possible. Whereas now, I'm kind of just like, boom, boom, you know? I'm just gonna freaking launch into it. And I feel like, obviously, that's really gonna help. But with this whole, like, Eddie Hall, with this whole Thor thing, there's no better time than now to just launch it, which is what I intend on doing over the next couple of weeks. I'm not gonna set, like, a a day for it. I'm not gonna, I'm obviously gonna have a specific session tailored towards it um, with the focus of the first like 20 minutes, half an hour of the session being purely that. I'm not gonna be like, on May 14th, I'm going to be overhead pressing this and listening. Like, it's not that deep, relax. I think it's just gonna be either on a push day or a upper body day. Um, which obviously I've done one just now, so it wouldn't be for another two or three days at the bare minimum. I think I'll just wait a couple of weeks and then I'll really fancy it, you know? It's not like a super duper I need super motivating for, I just think it's a cool thing to do. It's a complete and utter ego lift, so I'm not in a rush to be doing so, especially when I'm in a deficit. However, it would be pretty cool, right? So I just want to give it a go. It, it was more so that it just bugged me not getting it the other day, and so I was like... Yeah, I, 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 need, I need to hit that thing. So, of course, the next question on all of your lips, I hear you asking, is Liam, you've been dieting for 10 weeks now, there or thereabouts anyway. What's your macros saying, bro? Well, they have not changed one single bit. 60 grams of oats, nice glass of OJ, and quite a small banana today, but it's the only one we had left, so. Banana. That has been my breakfast pretty much for the entire of quarantine, isolation, whatever you want to call it. 2,300 calories, 190 protein, 250 carb, 60 fat. And drops are good. Em. I'm still losing weight on that. Mm. Mm. Shit. One thing that people do, one mistake that people always seem to make when dieting is changing things too fast. If things, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That applies with million things in life right but dieting in particular if your macros are still working don't change them when I hit a, a roadblock which I assume I will do in the next kind of few pounds I will either increase my cardio or decrease calories or potentially a little bit of both I am very much a foodie don't know if you can tell but <laughs> I like me some food so I like to increase my cardio more so than decrease calories um, so I'm still on 2300 calories and it is working until the point until the day when it is not that is when I will change it until this list I stop hitting those numbers that's when it will get changed I assume it will be in a few weeks because you know you can't you just can't continue like this forever it's not a friggin you know, it's not dreamland, like 2,300 calories, if you ask me, it, you can have a lot for that, this is a big bowl of porridge, and it's like less than 500 calories, it's ridiculous. You do have to bear in mind though, the way that I make my porridge, if you don't make your oats in that same way, you will not have the same experience, it's literally, it's literally as simple as that guys, if you don't make your porridge, like I do, don't expect to have the same experience as I do. If you follow the instructions when it comes to making porridge, you will have a shit time. Do not follow the instructions. Follow me, listen to me, I'm the captain now. You need to be adding more water than it says on the instructions and pretty much quadruple the amount of time it says on the packet that it takes to make. If it says two minutes, assume it takes 10 and you will have the perfect oats on a daily. It's even better when you have them every day and you just perfect it to your standards because everyone is different not everyone's going to like oats like me but the same principle applies and you can tailor your oats to you so i think we'll call it there for the day don't you i feel like i've wasted enough of your time 14 minutes 15 minutes if you're still watching i appreciate you 
This whole time I've been talking with my mouth full. I'm really sorry. It's like 1pm and I've only just had my oats. I've not been hungry today, I don't know why, but I hope you're all doing good. If you are struggling in isolation, why don't you pick up a ball? Try and learn to spin it on your finger. Buy a Rubik's Cube off of Amazon, try and solve that. Grab three little tennis balls, learn to juggle them. All of these things, that was crap, it's easier stood up. Have kept me amused um, in times of hardship when I was injured as a kid and I couldn't play rugby, I couldn't play cricket, I couldn't play tennis, I couldn't do my beloved sports. I was more into sports back in the day rather than the gym like I am now. Naturally with that comes injuries. I had to keep myself amused when I couldn't be on the pitch by learning to do stuff like this. Spin it on your finger, boom. I can't remember what my all-time record was, but I got pretty good at it at one point. I know I did the Rubik's Cube in about two minutes, but that's all I can remember. I can't remember how long I spun this on my finger for, but this was the ball I learned to do it with as well. Black shiny Nike ball that my godmother gave me, and uh, she actually watches some of these videos, so I don't know whether she'll be seeing this, but I still have this ball, and uh, it, it kept me company through, through tough times, so thank you for that. But ladies and gentlemen, if you are still watching, you are a real OG, thank you very much. Please drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. I appreciate you all, I will see you all tomorrow. Stay tuned for the My Protein video, stay tuned for the app giveaway, stay tuned for the push press, stay tuned for me getting shredded. Yep, four things that you need to stay tuned for. But for now, ladies and gents, I have a very busy day ahead of me, so I shall leave you to it, yeah? Anyone else use that excuse? I'll leave you to it, I'll leave you to it, darling, all right? Let me know your best quarantine excuses, because everyone's on Zoom calls, aren't they? But no one's got anything to do, and so you can't be like, oh, I've got to go, I've got to go to work. That should be interesting. Let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate you all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you tomorrow in the next one. Yes.